everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Bearded Cubing 101. My name is Joe. I'm your host of Bearded Cuber. In front of me, we have the uh, Moyu Milong Maple Leaf Cube. Beautiful. So how do I go about determining how many parts to a video? I'm going to tell you right now, this is probably going to be parts one, two, and three. It's such an interesting cube. You know, there's a lot of effort that goes into this. Of course, I can do you know any cube really in one video but it's not for me these videos are for you these are you know i'm trying to take that into consideration because i can't just continue saying the same thing over and over and over again because then every video is going to be three videos basically like basically going to school and say hey you know, I, I skipped the last three days but you just want to jump back into and think you're going to be caught up with everybody else and you're not right i mean and that's the reality of it i'll tell you i get a lot of backseat cube drivers um, that email me, and, you know, and you know, apparently everybody is, is a cubing expert, you know, entitled to your own opinion. And, um, you know, if you think that, you know, you can do better, just go ahead and, you know, start up your own cubing channel and, you know, see how well you can do. The um, coronavirus, man, that is just something else, isn't it? I, you know, it's unprecedented. My heart goes out to you, you know, whatever the situation is. I mean, if it's a combination of stuff, but things will get better. You know, these courses that I keep putting out once every two weeks and, you know, I'm just going to be real and upfront with you, ma'am. You know, um, you know, everybody's being affected and, you know, I'm not immune to it either. You know, so I'm going to do the best I can to continue releasing, um, you know, the best video I can once every two weeks. Um, I have nothing left in reserve as far as videos, you know, and I'm doing the best I can to, you um, you know, maintain that, you know, every other Thursday date. Um, but, you know, bear with me, man, because, you know, things are, are turbulent right now and I can't say for sure and I can't guarantee that videos are gonna be coming out as um, often as I'd like them to. You know, I did make a, um, a commitment to myself and to everybody that you know I was gonna you know share all my cubing knowledge with you and I've got a long ways to go to get it all out um, and I want to honor that commitment but at the same time I need some flexibility right so um, okay so let's scramble up Okay, hi everybody. So this is the Maple Leaf Cube. Let's quickly define uh, what the cube is. And these are outside corners, obviously. Um, center and center, central edge and central corner. Because if it's not an edge, it's going to be a corner. So um, if you want to swap these names out or you want to name it, rename it, whatever you want, go ahead and do that. Um, now, the objective of this cube is I'm going to do, um, I'm going to solve all these central edges and corners, all but two. Okay, so that's what the primary goal of part one of these three part series is going to be. Um, and so let's go ahead and uh, do this. So to scramble this cube, what you're just going to do is, um, you know, put pieces next to each other and swap them out just like that, right? And I'm going to do this um, solve twice, right? The first time is going to be fairly quick um, you know it's just regular normal kind of speed and that gives you an idea of you know where you might be at cubing wise um, because I'll tell you it's hard to gauge for yourself where you might be at but after all this all these cubing lessons that I've been giving you um, there should be um, some degree of understanding where I don't have to go terribly slow all the time um, just for you to be able to um, understand it is that that um, you know maybe you can't do it yourself but just what being able to watch and understand what I'm saying um, actually goes a long way you know um, so just because you might not be able to do it yourself um, just as long as you can understand the concepts behind what I'm saying um, that you know really goes the extra mile you know and that I guess um, gives you some sort of measurable um, I don't know some sort of measurable uh, accountability of where you might be I don't know. so 
So anyways, what we're doing here is I'm just scrambling this out so that um, none of these pieces are next to each other like um, these two right here. So I'll just find, you know, something like this where I can put this in this orbit that knocks that orange out. Um, and, you know, it happens pretty quick. If you just look around, um, none of these colors match. Okay, so just that's the top. We'll just say that this is the bottom, and then we'll just look around. None of these colors match. Do any of these? No. And uh, none of these. Um, this one does, but none of these. All right, so we can just do one of those deals, and there you go. I mean, the whole cube is scrambled right there. And if you want, you can just throw... Um, a couple of, you know, scoop cube moves in there on top of it just to give it another little additional layer of, you know, scrambled to it. Okay, so normal speed or regular speed or whatever, um, what you're looking to do is just look inside here. So that um, yellow inside of there, that centerpiece is yellow, that's orange. And of course, you know, you got all your standard color pattern in there, right? So what you want to do is we could start with this yellow right there. So <clears throat> I can get this yellow right here and put it right next to that. Okay, it doesn't change the um, center at all. It's just all I do is took this edge and put it next to this um, center. So let's go ahead and find another yellow like this one. I can pop that into its correct position just like that. And uh, this one right here, I can bring that down to the bottom and then flip it like that so that when I put it, bring it up, it's next to this yellow and I can paste that one in there um here's another yellow right here it's on the bottom okay see it right there what i can do is i can keep flipping this bring it down flip it again no nope, it's not going to work out that way but what i can do is i can bring it right there and i can utilize say this piece right here right because if this is on the left right and this is on the right i can just take a piece that's on the right flip it to take it from the left to the right and then bring it back up and place it right there next to this yellow. So all the yellows are complete. Let's just pick another color. Um, this one's red. So let's take all these red edges and put them right next to each other. Okay, so that's red, that one's red. And you see how quickly this goes, okay? And that's red right there. Um, here's another red right there. We can just bring that down to the bottom and see if we can you know, keep flipping it. Well, let's see, it's on the left. Let's bring it over to the right, bring it up and pop that in. Okay, so that's all complete. So we have the yellows complete, the, the reds are complete. Um, let's do the blue, I guess, why not? All right, there's a blue right there. Um, let's see, there's a blue right here. And of course I'm flipping the cube around a lot. I mean, that is the nature of cubing you just you know all i'm doing is focusing on putting the blue in without disturbing anything else you know not a huge deal like for example um this orange or i'm sorry this red and this um, yellow are complete so i don't want to mess with those i'd rather mess with this one right here because i haven't worked on the green just take it from the left put it to the right bring it up to the blue and there you go and i actually got a double bubble out of it because i had, i swapped it out with a green Okay, so if you just look at the cube a little bit, I've got this complete, I've got this one complete, I've got this one complete, and what I mean by complete is just the edges. I'm just putting these edges in, right? So if you look, just uh, all these blue edges are in, that's great. Um, let's put uh, another green in. Let's take this green and put it here. Another double bubble because that's orange, right? So this orange will go here and that green will go there, right? Great. Um, how about this green? Let's take it down to the bottom. Um, we'll flip it, flip it again, right? We're gonna, we won't use this one because that's complete. We'll just, you know, see if we can use this one. No big deal. And we had a double bubble again where this white went to this white. This green goes to this green and this um, orange goes to this orange. All right, we had a triple right there. Okay, so the last one here is uh, this uh, white and orange. Okay, so just bring it down. This time we, you know, because everything else is full, we'll just use a blue, right? We'll just swap that out temporarily. Swap this one with this, okay? Then take that and then bring it back and swap it back out, okay? So that is part one of 
And if you just look, you know, that's white, white center with four white edges. That's um, an orange with four orange edges. Um, yellow with four yellows, uh, green with four greens, blue with four blues, and a red with four reds. Okay, that's the beginning. Now let's go ahead and start working on placing all these um, central corners. Okay, so this is um, the part where we're going to start working on all the corners, right, at normal speed. And what we're looking to do is we're going to take this blue, we're going to solve all the blues first. And we're going to take this blue, this blue is in this orbit, right? So what we're going to do is swing that around, move that out of the way. We're going to take this piece right here, whatever's over there, tuck that away real quick, return this blue, and then return this blue. Now, if that was too fast for you, remember, I'm going to be doing this at a considerably slower speed um, on this next solve, okay? So just put that orbit in, move this out of the way, return the this one and then simply return this one okay so now we have three out of the four blues take that blue bring it down to the bottom flip it right put it in this orbit tuck it away and put that in and then return this so now all these are complete okay let's pick something else let's just pick the green for whatever reason um, now let's just say I want to take this green and put it here. Okay, well, I can do that. That's not a problem, but I don't want to mess up this blue, right? Because I just worked with that blue. So let's take any other color. Let's just take this one right here because we haven't worked on, the only one we worked on was the blue. So I'm going to hide that away. So now let's take this green. We'll put it here. Okay, tuck that away. Take this and tuck this away and return this green and then simply return this green okay so basically i just didn't want to disturb um, what i had already created which was the blue right so if i wanted to put this green here i don't want to mess with that blue so just take anything else right and go ahead and do it now okay so just go ahead and put that there and return oops, this green here and then return this green right there okay so that green is placed um let's take this green put it there that's fine right there okay because you know i'm not disturbing anything that i had already fixed specifically the blue so return this and then return this right so that looks good um let's take this one right here this is not in the correct orbit to go there okay so even if i took it down here and i flipped it around you know it's still not going to work out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take another color which i don't really care about I mean, whatever this is i'll use this temporarily now i want to move this out of the way because remember i don't want to mess with that blue so just put anything there it doesn't matter just you know whatever um, now I'll take this green, I'll put it in this orbit right here. I'll take whatever's here so I can hide this away. I want to return this green and then uh, return this green. Now remember, we took a color and we swapped it out with another color, right? We'll go ahead and swap that back. And now if you look at the cube, we have uh, the reds are, or the green, greens are complete and so are the blues. Um, let's just work on these um, oranges right so I don't want to mess with this green right because if I took this orange and put it here I would have to mess with the green so just go ahead and put another color back there right so take that orange put it in this position take this position so you can tuck this away real quick return this orange and then return this this one um let's find another orange okay so this orange right here can go here i don't want to mess with that i don't want to mess with this so let's mess with this one right here right because i don't want to mess with two that i've already have completed right i'd rather mess with another one so i'm going to take this orange i'm going to put it right there right i'm going to take this side right here and tuck those away return this orange and then return this orange now i have one orange left to place right there so let's find it it's right here um okay so where's that okay so i took it down to the bottom i rotated it i put it in a position where it's opposite of this right but i don't want to mess this up so let's mess this one up instead okay uh put this one here take this piece tuck it away 
return these oranges and then return these oranges. Now, before you know it, you have one, two, one, two, three out of the six sides complete, okay? So I just need to mess with this side, this side, and this side. Um, you know, if you just look around the cube a little bit, you'll see that, well, this one's already has two of them in. So let's just go ahead and, you know, you know, get, get the easy pickings and put the rest of the two in. Now, the more that you get closer to the end of the cube, the more difficult it's, it's going to be, it's going to be to, you know, solve the rest of the cube because you have less room and less pieces to maneuver with. So if I want to take this red and put it here, I would have to have a blank spot right there. So if this is a full slot and these are full slots and these are full slots, if you've been paying attention, you know what full slots are, is, you know, pieces where it are complete, they're, they're already taken. Um, if those are full slots, then um, this is an empty slot, this is an empty slot, and these are empty slots. So let's take this empty slot, put it in this position so that when I turn this up, this red can go here. I can take this empty slot, put it right there. And that actually worked out because it gave me a white there. And I turn this and I can turn that and then I can return this one. And there you go. Okay. Um, this red can go here, right? But I don't want to mess with uh, this orange, right? So let's, if I turn this that's going to be a full green but this one here is the one of the empty slots the whites are one of the empty slots so i can turn this so this red go here turn this empty slot in so i can return this red and then i can return this red all right now we start to get into something that gets you know trickier and trickier as we get closer to the end of the solve because the only two that we have left are um, the whites and the yellows because everything else here is solved. These two are solved and these two are solved. So you have no other third piece, right? So you can only swap between the two. So what we want to do is we want to look at this and say what makes sense. You know, the, you know, what makes sense for me to do here? Does it make sense for me to, to take this piece and put it next to this one? Possibly. You know, I guess it could, you know, I mean, you really, honestly, I'm feeling my way around in the dark here a little bit, you know, and that's kind of what you have to do. You just have to see what kind of fits. Um, so, yeah, it kind of makes sense that I can do that and it kind of makes sense that I can do that, right? So if you just turn the cube around just a little bit, you can see that everything is solved except for two pieces this one and this one okay and if you just look at it this way it's easier to see just these two pieces are swapped right but everything else this one this one this one and this one are complete okay and that's going to be the end of part number one of the video okay so that was um, a fairly normal speed but for those of you who need me to go slower and I completely understand I will do this again at a drastically reduced speed so that um, you can catch up but the reason why I did it at this speed was to give you some sort of idea where you might be at cubing wise if you've been paying attention and um, practicing um, your skew cubes Okay, let's do this again. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this again at a reduced speed. So let's just go ahead and start scrambling. And basically all you need to do is get two of these colors next to each other and turn, right? And, um, you know, just keep on doing it until everything is completely scrambled out, okay? So just uh, keep moving this around. And uh, while I'm doing this, um, you know, I'm trying something new with the camera i'm just uh you know wanting to see if i get a better picture quality and you know i don't know a whole lot about cameras and stuff but you know i've just been learning as i go along and just doing a little bit of experimenting and um you know i just moved to a uh better natural light source so i just moved my desk over to the window and you know just to see if i can get a better light source and then i just changed some settings in my uh camera that I'm, you know, I'm still learning it's, and um, I don't know I'm, I'm hoping that it's just a better picture quality but we'll see
I think I, I, I had some pretty good success there for um, a little while. But uh, I just want to see if I can get it, you know, dialed in. Um, so basically what I'm looking at is I just want to make sure that all these pieces are all um, scrambled out. So like th this white is still next to this white. So let me see if I can just uh, rotate something else in. And then when I rotate this, I want to make sure that these two don't get paired up. So that looks pretty good right there. So we'll just say that this is the top and then we'll just say that this is the bottom. Well, I'm already seeing a problem right there. So let's see if we can get... Um, you know, I don't want to do it this way because then I'll be rotating this one into that orbit. Um, you know, but it doesn't matter if you did that or not. But um, what I want to do is I want to rotate, the, say, this one into that orbit so that um, it doesn't match here and it won't match there. So um, let's just say that this is the top. Okay, so that's good. If you look on the bottom, that's all uh, scrambled out. This one's all scrambled out. Um, this is all scrambled except for that one. So let's see if I can change that. Okay, and this is all good, and this is all good. Okay, so cool. Everything's all scrambled out. Perfect. So now that it's all scrambled, just go ahead and give it a quick skew cube, you know, up, up, down, down. Um, you know, in any combination of that, okay, just to give it a quick little extra dimension of scrambledness. Is that a word, scrambledness? Uh, I don't think so, but I think you get what I'm saying. Okay, so again, um, these are outside corners. We're not worried about those, right? In this cube, in part one, we're only looking to match up these um, centers, so see that center right there, that center piece, that central edge, right? Because remember we said that this is gonna be a central edge and this is gonna be a central corner. Well, right now we're only working on the central corners. So I, this is red in there, if you can't tell it's red. So I want one, two, three, four reds next to it, okay? And I can easily take this red and just simply turn it just like that Right, so that this red is opposite of that. So when I turn this in, this red will match this red. This red will never move, okay? Um, now I can take this piece right here, I can bring this down to the bottom, okay, just like that, and I can flip it, right? I don't like where it's at because if I bring it up, it's not going to match over here, right? So what I want to do is bring it down to the bottom again and flip it again. No, didn't work. Flip it again. Well, I can keep flipping this until I'm blue in the face. It's not going to be where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I want to borrow um, this side right here, right? So because I want this red to go right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this position, whatever piece is in this position, it doesn't matter, just as long as it's on the right side. Because look, I can just take this. If I want to take this green and put it there, all I gotta do is go like that, right? So what I can do is I can just take this green and put it right next to this red, swap these two out, right? So now that this red is on the right side, and I can bring that up to this side so I can just pop that right in, okay? And then this one just got uh, conveniently turned into a position where I can just turn right next to this and turn that in. So now if you look at this, all these reds are now complete. I'm, all, all I'm looking at is the center red and then one, two, three, four central edge pieces next to it. Okay, so you can do whatever color you want. It doesn't matter. Whatever's floating in your boat. Um, let's do um, this one, whatever this one is. This is a, that's a yellow in there. All right, so let's find some yellows. So just look around. Um, I see a yellow there. I see a yellow there, right? How about we, we take this yellow because it's very easy to put this yellow right there. Okay, just like that. Now, I mean, it looks like you can just cut over to, you know, but you can't do that. You'd have to have it in this position like that. So um, let's take that and we'll, uh, okay, so let's, you know, let, we can take this piece right here and we can put it right there. Now, if I wanted to, I could take this red. I know we already 
messed with this red and we, you know this red is all complete meaning it is a full slot all right because that's where it's supposed to be this is where it's supposed to be this is where it's supposed to be and this is where it's supposed to be but regardless of whether it's a full slot or not it doesn't matter you can really just take this yellow put it right there swap it out with that so that's where it's supposed to be and then return this so you can pick that red back up put that back into its full slot you could do it that way it's, that's really not an issue or um, you could say well you know what i don't really want to mess with this red i don't want to pick this yellow up and then bring it over here and then swap that red back you don't have to do it that way you just pick another color you know another empty slot right so this is an empty slot take that and this actually worked out better because not only did you get the red over here, but you took this blue and it's next to this blue now. So that's, you know, I call that a double bubble. You got a two for one. Just swap this back. And you could have had a three for one. If that was green, that would have matched up with this green. But, you know, we're not working on green, so we're just going to be happy with the double bubble. This one right here. Okay, the yellow, we can bring that down to the bottom. We can flip it, right? It flipped into a position so that we can easily bring it up next to this yellow and pop that in all right so now that the um, reds are complete the yellows are not complete let's just pick uh, the green okay um, there's a green right there we can swap it out with this green right and then that actually put this blue in its correct position as well so that's a double bubble um, let's see if we can take this green and put it right there very easy easy swap and again another double because this green is going to go here next to this green and this white is going to go here next to this white and no i did not plan that out it just happened to work out this green here would go here if i just turned it down flipped it no i'd have to flip it again okay now i have to take it from this side to put it on this side to put it over here Right. I again I can do it with uh, the red but if I choose not to I'll do it with um, this this color because you know we have not been placing the whites yet right so just go ahead and do that double bubble right again um, greens gonna go to green whites gonna go to white very easy right and um, let's see so all the greens are complete and if you want you if you want to get all these ones that are complete together just you know turn it until they're all together reds greens and yellows so now all that's left is the blue the white and the orange um okay let's do um the whites because we already have two of the whites two out of the four whites are in already so let's just go ahead and put this one in we'll swap this for a double Okay, white to white and orange to orange. We'll take this, bring it down to the bottom, flip it, right? If it doesn't flip in the correct position you want it, bring it down to the bottom again, flip it again, right? And if that doesn't work, flip it just one more time. Then take um, a piece, any piece, whatever, switch it here, and then switch this, okay? This happens to be a blue, so let's switch that blue with blue. Um, we're going to switch this blue and this orange. Okay, and then we're going to switch, finally, this blue and this orange. Okay, now if you look around the cube, um, all the centers with the central edge pieces are all in their correct spots, so everything is a full slot. Okay, so... Uh, let's go ahead and start placing all these uh, corners. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and uh, start placing all these um, central corners. And uh, what we're looking to do is just pick any, you know, we'll start on white. You can pick whatever color you want. It doesn't matter. And basically you want to get a white that's in the correct orbit to go. So like, for example, this is in the correct orbit to go here, right? So if I just simply turn that, okay, and I just move this white out of the way, okay, just simply move it out of the way, whatever piece is here, just utilize that to spin those away 
So you can tuck those away and just hide them f- just for a moment, okay? And the f- then what, what you, all you want to do is simply return this white, okay? And that just flips this white to the white side and the blue back to this blue side. And then you just want to simply return these whites and that flips the orange back over here and then flips whatever the, the white back over there now um because everything is an empty slot meaning this is not full meaning that none of these pieces are in their correct positions none of these pieces are in their correct positions same thing for this and same thing for this and same thing for the bottom nothing's in its correct positions you can utilize whatever piece whatever side you want, okay? Um, But when things start getting placed, um, so like when these two are gonna be complete, those will be, you know, I have a white here and a white here, this would be considered a full slot, okay? Um, But right now, everything is um, easy to place. So what I can do is I can take this white right here and I can just simply turn that, bring this to the bottom okay and then spin it right and basically you want to get into a position where it either orbits here or here right so this white is going to orbit right there so basically it's just being it bringing it down to the bottom and then rotating it from there okay so this rotates into a correct position just move this out of the way take whatever empty slots over here pick these up Move those out of the way, return this white, okay, and then return these whites. Okay, see how easy that is? The last white, right, is right down here. So it's on the bottom. All you're gonna do is you're gonna keep flipping it, okay? Now, if I bring it up this way, you can see that it's not in the correct rotation, right? It's, It's not in the correct orbit, right? So what if I were to rotate it this way? Well, then it, it's on the left side of the same side as this. So I, this, that's not going to do me any good. So what if I just picked it up and brought it from the left side of the cube to the right side of the cube, okay? And then brought it this way, okay? Well, then, yeah, it's in the correct orbit to go here. But what I did was, all I did was temporarily swap these two out okay so this yellow and this red i just temporarily swap these out just to pick up that um white and put it on the right side this is the right side so if this is the left this is going to be the right it's in the correct orbit to go here okay i'm just going to take whatever empty slot is here move this out of the way i'm going to return the whites and then I'm gonna return these whites, okay? And then I have to remember that I swapped this piece with this piece, so let's swap those back, okay? So uh, this is a full slot now, okay? So I don't really wanna mess with this too much. You know, I wanna avoid messing with this, right? Because we just put a lot of effort into solving that. Um, let's pick another, um, well, let's, let's do yellow now. Just another color, any color, um, doesn't matter. We'll take, um, we'll say this yellow. If I rotate it like that, it'll go here, okay? I'm going to have to use, utilize whatever's back here. Hopefully it's an empty slot, right? If it wasn't, like say it was a full slot like that, well, I would say, well, let's either use, this empty slot or this empty slot but you don't want to use a full slot you know because you don't want to mess that up so use an empty slot let's take um uh oh we're gonna we're gonna put this yellow right there right so you just put that in its correct orbit right move this out of the way take this empty slot so you can pick up these yellows the ones that you just placed right Move that out of the way. Then you want to return the ye- this yellow. It's just simply return this, and then it's just simply returning this. Okay, so now you have one out of the one, one, two, three, four yellow positions. Um, so let's take this yellow, and we'll put it into 
this orbit, right? So that's an empty slot there, so that's good. Okay, you take your empty slot, hide that away, return this yellow, and then return this yellow. So you have two out of the four slots. Correct. Um, okay, so let's place another yellow. Let's see if we can get, um, well, this one is in the, the orbit that would go here. So that's not going to do us any good. We don't want to swap piece for piece, right? So uh, let's see if um, maybe this yellow does us any good if I turn that. Now this yellow is in the correct orbit to go here. So I would need an empty slot over here. And I got one. So take this yellow, put it right there. Take this empty slot. So you can hide that those away, return this yellow, and then simply return this yellow. Okay, see how easy that is? One yellow left. The yellow's on the bottom. I'm gonna rotate and see if we can put it in. This is not in the correct orbit to go here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring it right down here. Okay, so what I did was, all I did was I moved it from here to here, and then I just rotated this, okay? So it's on, the this yellow is on the left side. It's on the same side as these yellows. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take any empty slot, not this one or this one, because right, this is a full slot, this is a full slot. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna take any empty slot, We'll say this one right here, right? And we'll bring it right there, okay? Then we're gonna take this yellow and we're gonna put it right there, okay? Then we're gonna take this and hide it away. And then we're gonna take these yellows, return this. We're gonna take these yellows and return this. And then we're going to swap these two back, okay? Very easy, so now we have completely full slot here and this is completely full slots here okay let's um let's do the orange okay so this orange can go here it's in the correct orbit okay the these are empty slots so just go ahead and hide those away take this orange return that okay and then take this orange and return that. So these oranges are complete. Um, let's take this orange and we can put it right here so it can go right there, right? It's correct orbit, but these are full slots though. So we wanna get rid of those. Um, so let's see, what else is available? Just turn that, here's an empty slot. So now I can take this orange, put it in this orbit, okay? Move that out of the way, take the empty slot, take these and so we can hide those away. We can take this one and return this orange and then return this orange, All right? Um, this one here needs to go there. Okay, so we're gonna rotate. Well, it's not in the correct orbit, okay? So what you wanna do is take it from here, bring it over here, so you can swap these out, okay? <clears throat> or, well, I mean, yeah, you could, but let's uh, let's let's see if we can just bring it down to the bottom and then rotate. Okay, no, that's not going to work that way. Um, no. Okay, so yeah, what we're going to do is uh, we will. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna bring it right here. I'm gonna take, uh, say this empty slot, right here, this empty slot, and I'm gonna take this and put it right here. And then I'll bring this up, okay? So now this is in the correct orbit to go here, right? I have an empty slot right here take those, move them out of the way. I can return these oranges and then I can return these oranges. 
Okay, so basically, you know, it's a matter of finding a position that's going to work for you. So if you look at this, you have one, two, three full slots and one, two, three empty slots. So we have a little ways to go here. Um, and, you know, you need to swap these back as well. You know, so if you see something that's out of orbit, just orbit them back. No big deal. Okay, so let's see if we can. Uh, so I can take, uh, and the closer you get to being done, the more difficult this is going to become, right? So uh, we can take this and put this in the correct orbit to go here, right? So that see how that would work out. But before we do that, let's take this empty slot and we're going to put it right there. Now we can take this one, put it in the correct orbit to go here, move this out of the way. You can take these empty slots and tuck them away. You can hide those. Return this red and return this red. Okay. And if you saw, you know, you just kind of picked up some double bubbles there where, you know, this one went where it's supposed to, this one where it's supposed to, right? Um, okay. So what else can we start placing? Um, this red can go here right because we have an empty slot there to pick those up okay so that went to this correct position and i tuck that right away we're going to take these empty slots and take these reds tuck those away return this red and return these reds okay um let's see how about um Well, this red would go over here, so that's not going to do us any good. We don't want to go red with red. So we'll see what the other red's doing for us. This red can go right there, right? But I would need an empty slot right back there, okay? So let's take this empty slot, and we'll put it right back there. Take this red, put it in the position where you orbit right there. Okay, we're going to move this out of the way. We'll take these empty slots. So you pick these reds up, return that. You wanna return this red and then you wanna return these reds, right? And remember, we picked up a double bubble because we just placed that one as well. Okay, so um, now if you look at the cube, we, we've we got, uh, these three are complete. Uh, we're still working on the reds, right? So we're getting real close here, right? Um, so this is not in the correct orbit to go here. So what I'm going to do is I'll take it from here and I want to put it right there, okay? On this side right here, same side as uh, this. Then I'm going to swing this empty slot down, okay? Because so, we have one, two, three empty slots. I'm going to take this empty slot. I'm going to turn that down turn that so that this red goes over here so that when I bring this up this red will be in this orbit now I would need an empty slot over here so I'm going to use this again I got to reuse this right so um, not only did I take the <clears throat> not only did I do a swap over here okay but now I want to take this and put it back here to use it again uh, so that when I bring this up this red will orbit right there okay and i will have an empty slot to use to pick it up and move it out of the way so that i can return these or this you know these two reds and then i can return these two reds knowing the whole time that i have this one and this one this one and this one, this, this blue and this or, uh, green to swap back out. So all you got to do is get them next to each other, bring it down to the bottom, rotate it so you can bring it right next to each other, and then you can rotate these back, okay? And I know there was a lot of cube fl flipping there, but it was just simply bringing it down to the bottom and flipping it so you can, you know, put it next to it uh, again. Now, if you look at the cube, everything is solved except for these two and these two, all right? But we want to cut that down. We don't want um, four of them out. We don't want one, two, three, four pieces out. We only want two pieces out. 
Now, if everything else is correct, because that's correct, that's correct, that's correct, and that's correct, well, and you don't want to use any of those, well, then you have to flip and switch in between the blue and the uh, green or whatever colors you've got left. So you want to do this in a way that kind of makes sense, but it's organized chaos, to be honest with you. You know, you just got to do what looks and feels right. So bringing this one over here, well, that feels pretty good. Okay, so it matched up. Okay, well, I don't know. Um, How about if I bring this one over here? Does that do anything for me? Not really, but, you know, it could, I, I suppose, you know. Um, now, what if I brought this one over here? Does this do anything for me at all? No, it does nothing for me whatsoever. So I don't like that. I'm flipping that back. Um, would bringing this one over here do me any good? Um, not really. I, I, I mean, I mean, it all it did was take these three and bring them from this side to this side. So I mean, I'm, I can't say that that's really floating my boat. Um, you know, but you just kind of have to look around and feel around and play around with this a bit so that you know and you might have to even bring things down to the bottom and flip them you know and see if that does you any good you know how about bringing this one up here well i don't know let's go for it let's go with it for right now you know um bringing this over this way is not doing me any good i don't feel any um anything good coming out of that at all you know, I mean, it would be better if, you know, these two got placed, you know, and, uh, but that wasn't the case. And sometimes, you know, you just got to keep flipping just to see, and maybe sometimes I would, I'll, you know, if I'm not digging and feeling what's going on, I'll take a full slot right here and I'll just take that, right? And I'll, I'm going to bring it over this way so that I can pop that in like that. Right, and then bring this back, and I can return this, right? And I'm feeling pretty good about that. I mean, it didn't solve all the problems, but you know, if I feel like it got me a little bit closer to where I want to be. Now, at this point, let me explain this to you here. Let me see if I can get this in a way that you understand. I don't really want this piece on this side i would rather have I, this edge over here okay rather than um over here um and let me explain to you why because i can rotate this corner or th this edge okay i can rotate this edge into a position so that if i rotate it like this then i can take this at this corner and put it next to this edge okay and that is something i do feel very good about okay so um bringing it down to the bottom and rotating it and rotating it and that's not doing me any good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this piece and i'm going to simply turn that and i'm going to rotate this and then i'm going to rotate this Okay, and that brings me to where we're going to leave things off for right now, where you have the entire cube is solved except for one, two pieces. So, and, and forgetting about the corners and being careful with the corners. Because remember, these corners can pop off at any time. So be gentle with them. And, um, but everything is solved. So, um, full slot, full slot, full slot, full slot. And these are all solved except for two. So that's where you want to be. Um, okay, let's pick this up in part number two. And uh, we're going to show you the most difficult part of solving this cube. And that's getting uh, these two pieces uh, swapped out.